Danny Devine is a um, small time uh, money lender um, from somewhere probably in the, the north side of Belfast, I would say. Uh, he has his own agenda in the film. In actual fact, he could probably be in another film. <laughs> he's kind of skirting through this one from time to time. Um, he's full of life, full of energy, full of uh, sort of dynam dynamic. There's a big dynamic with Danny Devine, um, and I think he's uh, I think he's genuinely funny. It's far always strange to say that when you're playing the character yourself, but uh, I think he is. Hopefully, he'll get the audience a laugh. For the past year or so, I've been playing a lot of uh, very, very difficult characters. People like Adolf Hitler and James I, and they're not a, not a lot of laughs when they're playing these guys. So uh, this was a chance just to get crazy and, and, and uh, enjoy myself and, and, and work with people that I could feel secure and comfortable with. And uh, that's why I've done it this way, this size. Fantastic working with Gary. Gary was a great influence on, I mean, not just in my career, in many, many actors' career of my age, even though I'm not that much younger than Gary, there's a, a few years in it, he was an inspiration to me, uh, no doubt about that, a piece he did with Mike Lee many years ago called Meantime, and I'd never seen an actor like that before, you know, and I kind of followed him ever since, um, I just think he's, he's an exceptional actor and an extremely nice person as well, hopefully we can do more together. I like working with new, new directors first time as I've done that, I've done that back and forward in my career. I either work with people who are extremely experienced or people who aren't at all. And uh, I enjoy that, especially when there is um, when there is open, as Charlie is. Charlie's open to suggestions and ideas um, in, a, in, a, in a manner that, that most young directors aren't. Sometimes they can be uh, a wee bit intimidated by you, Charlie certainly isn't that. Sometimes they can be um, a bit defensive as well, and, and Charlie certainly isn't that. So he's he, he's almost mature before his age, before his years, I should say. Charlie Stadler, he's got um, he's got a wonderful way of setting the atmosphere, which is what you really need from from any director. He sets a wonderful atmosphere and gives you that that platform to, to create. Well, D Danny it came from me. I have to say, I've got nobody to blame but myself in this part. Um, he was originally called Harvey Schneider. He was probably about 25 stone and, and certainly from somewhere like Chicago or something like that. Um, so so when, it, when, it, when it came around to, to me to, to play this, I thought, well, I'm not 25 stone and I'm not from Chicago. I'm a very small Glaswegian person, actually. Um, but the Glasgow accent didn't seem right for this piece, so I, I thought that Northern Irish kind of fitted because he's shouting all the time. It's a kind of Paisley-esque kind of quality with this guy. Uh, so these things kind of went hand in hand. And Charlie was, was again, you know, brave enough to say, put this, this character together the way you see it. So the, the general look and the, the wee mod jacket and the Ben Sherman references and stuff, um, it's sort of do with this guy's style. I've made him a kind of a mod, for, for want of a better word, or a, a Northern Soul convert. Hence the shoes. Very cool. Today I am running over Dragan, uh, Carl Roden, uh, who plays Dragan in this. Um, Dragan's a hitman on the, the, the tail of Gary, uh, and, and just when you think he's he's going to he's going to make <laughs> Danny Devine plows right through him in his camper van, which is very typically Danny.